So guys, in this video, we will learn how to find out the eigenvalues as well as the eigenvector of a 3 cross 3 matrix. Okay, so here it is given the question find out the eigenvalues as well as the eigenvector of the matrix. First step is to find out the characteristic equation. Always remember you have to find out characteristic equation. Now, how to find out characteristic equation? You have two methods. One is the traditional method determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0 this is the first method second method is simple that is lambda cube this is a formula okay lambda cube minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda plus sorry minus s3 equal to 0 this is nothing but plus minus plus minus okay so this is the another method this one is the easy method okay and uh, so we'll begin with the easy method i'll show you this part also Okay, both the things I'll show you because you need to understand that both in both the cases, both the methods, you will get the same answer. So let us start with the lambda cube one. So in this, uh, you might see here S1, here S2, here S3. What all, what are these terms? Lambda is nothing but the eigenvalue you will be getting. Okay, that is the variable. Now here, S1 is nothing but the sum of main diagonal elements. Sum of main diagonal elements. Main diagonal elements in the sense, this one. This is nothing but the main diagonal elements. Okay, sum of main diagonal elements. What is S2? S2 is nothing but the cofactor. S2 is nothing but the cofactor of main diagonal elements. Okay, so S2 is the uh, cofactor of main diagonal elements. Now S3. S3 is nothing but the determinant of this matrix. So I'll take determinant of A, I'll denote this as A, A matrix, okay, determinant of this matrix, it is nothing but S3. So three things you have to find out, S1, S2, S3, then you can just directly put the values, okay. So let us start with S1. So S1 is equal to, add this one, sum of main diagonals, 1 plus 5 plus 1, it is equal to what, that is 7, correct. Now, S2, S2 is nothing but cofactor of main diagonal, what is cofactor you might have studied in. Uh, your 12th class and all so uh, cofactor of main diagonal elements only for main diagonal elements we have to find out so first main diagonal elements is one so you have to leave the row as well as the column correct so this column this row you leave so what is left out this part so i have to find out determinant of that cofactor is something but determinant of this one so 5 1 1 1 correct plus sum of that okay sum 5 is the next diagonal element leave this column and the row column and row second column second row what is left out 1 3 3 1 so 1 3 3 1 plus third main diagonal element leave this third row third column third column third row 1 1 1 5 1 1 1 5 okay so this is the things I have got now just calculate this one so 5 5 into 1 5 minus 1 it is 4 1 minus 9 right 1 minus 9 minus 8 plus 1 sorry 5 minus 1 it is 4 so 4 plus 4 8 8 minus 8 it is 0 okay i hope you got it how to multiply the same thing as determinant okay multiply this one then minus this one now, next thing, S2 is, I value, I got it as 0. No, S3. S3 is nothing but the determinant of the main uh, matrix. So, determinant of 1, 1, 3, 1, 5, 1, 3, 1, 1. So, here, carefully observe, I will go by the first row. Okay, you can take any row, any column, you can find out the determinant. First row, so 1 into, right? 1 into uh, again the same thing 1 into leave the row and row column I hope you know how to calculate the determinant so I'll just uh, directly find out 5 minus 1 so I'll write is 5 minus 1 now second element you have to take it as negative right leave this column row 1 into 1 minus 3 1 minus 3 okay third element is 3 3 into 1 minus 15 right 5 3 is a 15 okay so this is the thing I got. Now here just multiply this one. So 1 into 4 minus 1 into 
minus 2 plus 3 into minus 40. So what am I getting? 4 plus 2 minus 42 which is equal to 6 minus 42 minus 36. Okay. So all the things I got just you have to substitute in this formula. So lambda cube minus S1 right S1 what is S1 7 to so 7 lambda square plus S2 S2 is nothing but 0 so no need to mention that one. So lambda term is not there minus S3 minus S3 okay so minus of minus 36 is plus 36 okay so this will be the equation so lambda term is not there because it is zero so this is the equation just to we'll verify with the other traditional method also so this is the uh, the traditional method now here we have a minus lambda i determinant equal to zero what is a the matrix given i is nothing but here i is there i is nothing but the identity matrix of the same order as a this one okay so this you have to remember same order lambda is nothing but this one so when i subtract a minus lambda i i will get this one this matrix a minus lambda i only the determine uh, only the main diagonal elements you can observe here here only that elements will be subtracted with the lambda minus lambda simple okay this is nothing but a minus lambda which is equal to zero you have to put you have to find out the determinant so i will go by the uh, first row so first element you have to take that is one minus lambda into leaving this row and column this one is 5 minus lambda into 1 minus lambda minus 1 next the second element when you take you have to take negative sign so minus 1 leaving this uh, row sorry row and column so 1 1 into this one so 1 minus lambda minus 3 then third element that is 3 leaving this row and column 1 minus 3 into 5 minus lambda okay so this is what you will be getting now here uh, we have to solve this one you can see that the same equation characteristic equation i am getting okay so let us uh, now find out the value so this is a cubic equation so let us do it by in the calculator itself so we have to go for the mode this i have calculated mode here equation is there fifth option in this core cubic is there right the fourth option you have to select that one so you have to put the values of coefficient one minus seven zero because lambda term is not there then 36 plus 36 plus equal to you will get the values as minus 2 minus 6 or oh sorry plus 6 and 3 so i am getting lambda values as minus 2 6 and 3 for these lambda values you need to find out the this is nothing but eigen values so first step was to find out the eigen values using the characteristic equation simple next step is to find out the eigenvector for the corresponding eigenvalues okay so here i have taken i have taken here lambda is equal to minus 2 so this is the second step okay in second step remember this one in order to find out eigenvector a minus lambda i matrix matrix you have to multiply with x x is nothing but the eigenvector which is a column matrix containing all the unknown variables x y z okay equate it to zero so this is what i have done a minus lambda i this is a minus lambda i matrix into this eigen vector now here lambda for lambda minus 2 i have to find out this one so this matrix will become 1 minus lambda so 1 minus of minus 2 it is 1 plus 2 which is 3 then again this one th 1 3 this one will be 1 then 5 minus of minus 2 it is 5 plus 2 which is equal to 7 then here 1 is there then here 1 uh, sorry 3 then 1 then 1 minus of minus this thing will become 3 
so into what is there x y and z is there and you have to equate it to zero okay simple thing now carefully you observe if you understand one eigenvalue this thing eigenvector how to find out you can do it in all the other values okay easy method oh no here observe here in this we can form three equations right so row into column row into column row into column i'll get three equations so just multiply it so 3x first one 3x plus y plus 3z is equal to 0 first equation second one x plus 7y equal sorry plus z is equal to 0 second equation third one 3x plus y plus 3z equal to 0 third equation correct simple thing now observe carefully after getting the equation what you have to do you can take two equation out of three how to choose two equations simple if two equations are similar same see you can see third one and the sec first one is same don't take the same equation okay so take the different equations different coefficients whatever is there so i'll take first and third second you can choose any equation but keep it in your mind that don't take the same equation which is containing the same coefficients 3 3 1 1 3 3 don't take like that okay so i'll take these two equations 1 and 2 so after taking these two equations just write the I, i'll do it by cross multiplication method okay simple way so observe here just write the coefficient 3 1 3 this is 1 7 1 just write the coefficients okay so this is nothing but the x coefficient y coefficient z coefficient now carefully you observe now what i have to do i'll go by cross multiplication method so x by y by z by just write in this way x by equal to y by equal to z by okay now here observe carefully for the x what will be the denominator simple leave this x term x column you leave what is left out this 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 right so one seven three one for the y term in some test books you might have studied minus sign okay so here i will tell you why am i taking plus sign because i am taking i am seeing on the right hand side always on the right side you have to see okay so for y term you, uh, you observe i will hide y term see on the right side see on the right side what is the term left here on the right side i have 3 1 then here 3 1 right see here if i hide this one what is there 3 1 again if i come back here 3 1 so 3 1 3 1 simple next i'll hide z term so what is left out here see on the right side not on the left side that's why the sign of the y is plus okay so when i see on the right side nothing is there that means i have to come back to the x so 3 1 1 7 3 1 1 7 in order to verify your this thing always remember this two will be same this two will be same and this two will be same simple okay always remember in order to verify okay now the denominator part just you have to from top left to bottom right just like you doing the determinant you know how you find out determine same thing so x by 1 minus 21 minus you have to do minus this into this equal to y by 3 minus 3 okay 3 minus 3 then z by 21 minus 1 okay 21 minus 1 so this much i hope you understood so this is x by 1 minus 20 is minus 20 21 okay and y by this is 0 and z by it is 20 now this is the thing you want now i can form the vector x y z it is equal to what whatever is there in the denominator of x that will become here corresponding value that is minus 20 y it is 0 z it is 20 one more thing i should tell you here that if i am able to take the common outside common means in the sense if i am able to take 20 outside anything common between these three elements so i can take it just outside that is 20 i can take it outside what is left out minus 1 0 and 1 right so this will be the vector whatever is inside the matrix will be the vector 
So this will become minus 1 comma 0 minus 1 comma 0 comma 1. Okay, this will be the my first vector for the corresponding lambda equal to minus 2. Okay, so you can take outside common. If you are getting common in these three elements, take outside. So let us go for the lambda equal to 6. Again, the same thing. 1 minus 6, it is uh, minus 5. Then 1, this is 3, this is 1. 5 minus 6, it is minus 1. This is 1. 3, 1, 1 minus 6 is minus 5, x, y, z equal to 0. So as I said before, what you have to do? Now form the equation. So row into column, minus 5x plus y plus 3z equal to 0, x minus y plus z equal to 0, 3x plus y minus 5z equal to 0. So I got these three equations, 1, 2, 3, correct? I got three equations. Now, you can take any two equations. See whether any two equations are similar, same, no, right? So you can take any two equations. I will take first and second. See, the first and third is almost similar, just the uh, coefficients are reversed. You can take see here minus 5 is here 1 is here 3 is here like that so it's better you can take you can try it out with 1 and 3 okay i'll take 1 and 2 so just write the coefficients minus 5 1 3 1 minus 1 1 just write the coefficients of this one now i'll go for the cross multiplication method so what is that x by this is x1 this is y this is z so i'll take x by equal to y by equal to z by so x by means hide x c on the right side always remember c on the right side if you see on the right side what is left out this four elements so one minus one three one now hide y c on the right side what is there three one one more should come where is the other one here so three one minus five one now hide z what is on the right side nothing so i have to go back here this is there minus 5 1 then 1 minus 1 always remember this 2 this 2 and this 2 will remain same in order to verify if you are doing correctly or not just to verify with this one now x by like if you like how you find out determine the same thing you have to do here 1 minus minus of 3 right equal to y by what is this one 3 minus minus of 5 equal to z by 5 minus right 5 minus 1 so what is there here i will get x by 1 plus 3 right 1 plus 3 is 4 equal to y by how much is this one 3 plus 5 it is 8 equal to z by 5 minus 1 is 4 now form the eigenvector so x y z corresponding denominator of x 4 here 8 here 4 so i can take here 4 outside if i take 4 outside what is left out 1 2 1 so this is what the eigenvector i got so i can write it as 1 comma 2 comma 1 or corresponding lambda is equal to 6. Let us now quickly find out for the lambda equal to 3 also. So here, same thing, 1 minus 3, minus 2, 1, 3, 1, 5 minus 3, it is 2, then 1, 3, 1, 1 minus 3, it is minus 2 again, into x, y, z. Now form the equation. First row, second row third row multiply so minus 2x plus y plus 3z equal to 0 x plus 2y plus z equal to 0 3x plus y minus 2z equal to 0 okay first equation second third so i'll take first and second write the coefficients minus 2 
वन थ्री देन वन टू वन वन टू वन सिंपल राइट द कोफिशन फर्स्ट सो इट इस ईजी फॉर यू टू कैलकुलेट सो वेन आई कैलकुलेट सो राइट एक्स बाय इक्वल टू वाई बाय इक्वल टू जेड बाय नो हियर केयरफुल यू सी दिस इज एक्स वन वाई जेड सो हाइड दिस वन एक्स वॉट इज लेफ्ट आउट वन टू थ्री वन वन टू थ्री वन हाइड वाई सी ऑन द राइट साइड ऑलवेज सी ऑन द राइट साइड वॉट इज देर थ्री वन इज देर थ्री वन वॉट इज लेफ्ट आउट वन माइनस टू वन दउ हाइड जेड वॉट इज ऑन द राइट साइड नथिंग राइट सो यू हेव टू गो बैक टू दिस वन सो इट इज माइनस टू वन वन टू सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस टू विल बी सेम दिस टू एंड दिस टू विल बी सेम ओके सो एक्स बाय मल्टीप्लाई सो वन माइनस सिक्स देन वाई बाय थ्री माइनस ऑफ माइनस टू देन जेड बाय माइनस फोर माइनस वन राइट माइनस फोर माइनस वन नाउ हियर एक्स बाय माइनस फाइव आई गॉट वाई बाय हाउ मच इज दिस थ्री प्लस टू इट इज फाइव राइट फाइव एंड जेड बाय आई गॉट हियर माइनस फाइव ओके सो x y z the eigen vector it is equal to minus five five and minus five so in this i can take five outside so minus one one and minus one in this you can take minus five also outside okay that's what i was telling before also sign might change but the value will remain the same one 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 will remain the same but the sign might change if you take minus five outside so it will become one Minus one, one, right? Sign might change. See, the sign has changed, but the uh, one, one, one will remain the same. Elements will remain the same. So I can write it as one minus one, one minus one. Lambda value is equal to three.